Hello there, this is Daniel from Toolchefs and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Atoms Proxy node and render. In my scene here I have an agent group node and I already set it up with a grid layout state machine and variations module. I already imported the um, Arnold JSON file that we exported in uh, uh, the previous video. So, and also I run the variation randomizer so all the variations have been set on the agents. Uh, if now I click render, you see that uh, uh, in my scene here uh, I basically have already a, a nice render of my, of my agents. Uh, you, you, you see here that there's no motion blur, this is because you cannot render motion blur out of the um, agent group node. Um, with Arnold and Renderman. Uh, with V-Ray you cannot even render from the agent group node, you always need to have an Atoms proxy node. Also for V-Ray you need always to uh, load the Atoms V-Ray plugin um, that you can find in the plugin manager. So it's gonna be... Um, see here basically. So you, have to, you need to load this one. Um, so now I'm going to uh, export this cache And I'm going to uh, create an Atoms proxy node. So an Atoms proxy node is a lightweight representation of your uh, cache. Uh, of course, you can select your cache from the attribute editor, and uh, you can select the draw mode. I'm gonna click on variation. You don't really need to have uh, the whole of Atoms loaded here. In fact, you can just uh, load that uh, the plugin for the Atoms proxy node. This doesn't use an Atoms uh, um, full license, but it uses an Atoms procedural license. Um, you can use this node for lighting if you want an animator to have a reference of the crowd in their scene, or even if you want to uh, speed up your scene, you know, you cache out your simulation, and then you create an Atoms proxy node, and then you attach your cache on, on top of the proxy node. The Atoms proxy node is much faster than even having a cache reader uh, and the, uh, on an agent group node. Um, this is because, uh, of course, we are on only reading the cache, we're not, uh, you know, um, placing again the agents on an eye field and so on. Um, so this, um, this node is even scrubbable and, uh, and it's super fast, so you can really go, you can really speed up your, your scene if you start replacing agent groups with, uh, with the proxy nodes. Also, here you can provide a time offset, you can uh, um, provide also a variation file path. So for instance, uh, if you don't have atoms loaded or you simply want to overwrite the um, variation that you have in your scene, you just provide a JSON file here and that, that JSON file will be used when rendering. So now I'm going to render. I'm going to zoom out to mean a little bit. So you see here we have also motion blur and it's rendering fine. Um, also with this one, uh, here you can uh, attach uh, a next gen um, cache that uh, we're gonna show in another video. You can also filter out agents. So for instance, if you don't want to see a, a specific agent, uh, you can always do it. So if you don't provide, um, so if you provide an ID, they will, this will just show you the, uh, the, the, the given, uh, the, the agent with the given ID. Um, you can also display the agent, um, the agent IDs if you want, so uh, you, can, you, you, you will know what you're doing. If you don't want to see an agent, you can just do an exclamation mark and then provide the agent ID. Or you can also provide uh, um, a range. So for instance, I could do nine and then uh, instance one. So you see those three agents disappeared. You can also use a 3.8, so that from 3 to 8, and then of course you can concatenate this. So for instance, now I say, I don't wanna see uh, also number 11. You can, so you can do this kind of thing. So you can filter out your, uh, your agent IDs straight from the proxy node, and this is very useful, especially when, uh, for instance, you want to render just one agent, you can do it. So this is everything for rendering and uh, using the Atoms proxy node. Thanks for watching.